currently, if you try to upload LinkedIn profiles uh, via regular CSV, Link Helper will be only able to fetch those profile URLs. In case you want to see the full profile info in Link Helper or navigate to those profiles by imitating human behavior and typing their name into the search bar, you would need a special Link Helper CSV. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get this CSV and how to use it in the future. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that you're using Link Helper version 1.8.23 or above. Um, as you can see here, I'm using Link Helper version 2.3.2. Um, the next step would be navigating to the queue of your action of your campaign. As you can see, I have visit and extract profiles action and the queue of 59 profiles. So click here. Um, here you can manually choose the profiles you wish to export. In my case, I'll be exporting all of them. So I click here. I click download. Um, here you can choose between MS Excel or Google Sheets. Uh, I'll be using Google Sheets. Click for yes in here. Scroll down and click on download. The main difference between a regular CSV and the Link Helper CSV is that with Link Helper CSV you have a special checksum at the end of each line for each profile. Some other important aspects you have to be aware of. So the first one would be do not modify any cells in a given CSV as this can lead to the wrong formatting. Uh, the second one would be open the, open the file according to the chosen delimiter. As you can see here, I'm using Google Sheets. As various programs might use different character encoding, which can also lead to wrong formatting. Um, and the last one would be if you got the CSV from your colleague, you must make sure that it has a checksum in the end of each line. Now that we know our CSV was formatted in the right manner and has a checksum at the end of each line, we can try to upload it to a different account and to a different action. As you can see here, I'm running a different account and I'm using a follow profiles action. Now you have to click on the queue of this action, choose add contacts, choose upload profiles from link helper CSV, click on choose file, choose your CSV file and choose the right delimiter. As you can remember, we've been using Google Sheets and click import. As you can see, we imported a total of 159 profiles. And now you can see them in the queue of this action. Now that we have everything in order, we can start our campaign. As you can see, the main advantage of this method is that now you can manually review your queue because you have all the profile info available. I managed to delete a few profiles from the queue. And the second one would be, as you would later see, um, by using this method, Link Helper would navigate to the profiles by typing their name into the search bar unlike copy pasting the URL into the link bar because by using but because by pasting URLs LinkedIn might want to log you out if you navigate manually by URL to more than 50 profiles.